How's YouTube going? How's everyone doing? Agent here for Scooter Diary of Manila and... Woo! Oh, All right, so how's everyone doing? Guess where am I? Guess where am I? Guess where... M R. All right. So yeah, I'm actually in Tanai. Okay, so I had a quick breakfast there. Okay, so I'm in Tanai. Okay, I just had a quick uh, Tanai loop again on my own. I'm all alone. So yeah. Oops. What's that? What the, what the f is that? Hit me on on the face. So yes, I guess uh, it's Wednesday today, right? So how's everyone doing? I hope you're doing good and doing safe. So everyone is pretty much at work, right? So again, do your job, right? So what's my topic for today? What's my topic for today? So my topic for today is something about moto vlogging. Okay. I know there's a lot of moto vloggers out there now. So moto vlogging, yes, uh, moto vlogging is, is is not just simply an an industry, but it's it's a real community. Okay, there's a lot of people. Moto vlogging is a community community here. Hey, not, not just here, right? I mean, not just in Philippines, but it's been there for a while in in states in U.S. So when we talk about motor vlogging, it's definitely a person riding a motorcycle, maybe riding a car. I, I don't know if there's a motor vlogger in a car. So yes, maybe as long as it's moving, because it is something like more, right? And you talk. That's motor vlogging. I mean, others are just uh, simply putting in some videos out there. Well then yes maybe they started with it but yeah i really encourage everyone to like talk talk and talk anything under the sun i mean me when i'm writing doesn't matter what uh what topic i can think of the point is when you're doing a mode of vlogging if i'm doing a writing okay i got several topics with me i get several ideas with me running on my head running on my mind what i typically do is um, go run through it uh, you, you can definitely run through it and while while you know while riding sometimes it's not really easy to do that like you need to like do some speed bursts like that so it's important that you keep on talking and talking and it's just a matter of uh, how you edit before you publish it i mean writing like this i am going through like marilake and tonight loop it takes about two hours so you you can definitely discuss a lot of things within that time frame and mind you if if i publish it i limit it within that 10 to 15 minute range right I, I can't recall any any video of mine which is more than more than i guess 15 minutes but again the point is you should be like keep on talking and talking every time when you are doing a motor vlog it's not easy because uh, you need to also focus on the road i mean that that's more important right then again it's really important to keep on talking a lot of things so that during editing you just need to cut all the unnecessary stuff that you're talking about or what's important what's interesting on for the viewers out there but that's how i do it i don't necessarily plan out something like okay list down some of the items i don't do that it's all impromptu maybe that's the primary reason why sometimes my vlogging is very boring you're boring everybody quit boring everyone right again my vlogging objective is uh, to put in some content especially for the newbies out there i myself uh, became a newbie i've been riding for maybe 15 months but then again when i was riding i didn't see so much videos intended for newbie riders especially for philippines 
was watching a lot of videos from Thailand when I was doing that when I was really new to riding because Thailand is pretty much the culture itself is the same as what we have riding culture uh, do's and don'ts and all are pretty much the same as what we have uh, Asia in general it's different in, in US so again that's the point my channel is intended as an advocacy for the newbie riders out there who I can probably encourage and help riding a, a motorcycle so again with all those topic in mind it's also important to, to know what's your objective in motor vlogging L let me cite an example one motor vlogger is really again i know the guy he's, he's there to vlog about the different location in the philippines which is really very objective so my point is you should have your own objective of what you do what you want to talk about so that every time you go out you have that main objective you can probably stick to it so again that's how i do it more bike yes uh, so some others uh, would say okay you got a good more bike well again it's more of uh, entertainment right it's really fun and it, it gives you that idea that riding motorcycle is really fun on the road so yes uh, it's very effective that way so for me it wouldn't matter much because again my objective is about encouraging everyone to ride a motorcycle that's also the reason why i started out with a cheaper motorcycle just to show to the rest of the filipino communities that it's really advisable to to buy a cheaper bike at first so that they you get the idea how is it riding no one knows if you're gonna like it as you as you ride along you're definitely never gonna know it that you love riding in our neighborhood first motorcycle when i bought it i encouraged my neighbors to buy the same a lot of them bought the same i mean bought a scooter but in the long run they were not able to use it why maybe because it's not suited for their lifestyle it's not suited for their uh interest and all again it's it's really a waste of money because that's the thing you should buy something like a cheaper model first then try to see if you like the whole thing of motorcycle riding important is you have fun at the same time you don't get pressured with with other riders out there i mean it's nothing like I'm, I'm racing with anyone okay i'm just having fun right so yeah important is you have fun you don't get too caught up with the speeding and being dangerous to yourself and to everyone around you right <laughs> 